During a regeneration, a Time Lord's body could shine with milky white light. TV, the tenth planet, prose, the indestructible man, a swirl of rainbow colors. TV, the caves of Androzani, time and the Rani, utopia, or no colors. Comic, the night walkers, crackle with electricity. TV, Doctor Who, alert if engulfed in flames, prose, exodus, comic, fast asleep, a discharge golden energy, which could vary in speed and intensity from being brief and contained to explosive and capable, in extreme circumstances, of causing damage to the nearby area. Comic. The Forgotten. Doorway to Hell. TV. The Curse of Fatal Death. The Parting of the Ways. Utopia. The Stolen Earth. The End of Time. Day of the Moon. Let's Kill Hitler. The Night of the Doctor. The Day of the Doctor. The Time of the Doctor. Hell Bent. The Lie of the Land. World Enough and Time. The Doctor Falls. Twice Upon a Time. The Timeless Children. Prose. Doctor Who and the Time War. In other cases, there was no apparent energy discharge at all, just a fade away to the next incarnation. TV. Planet of the Spiders. Prose. The Ancestor Cell. The Touch of the Nuraj. In the case of the Doctor's fourth regeneration, the Doctor appeared to merge with and become the Watcher, after which he transformed from the Watcher into his fifth incarnation. TV. Logopolis. On the occasion that the Doctor had just been granted a brand new regeneration cycle, he initially emitted a large eruption of energy in an almost liquid form. Sometime later, when his actual shift to a new body occurred, there was only a very short, almost negligible discharge of energy. TV. The time of the Doctor. Some regenerations occurred with other individuals in close proximity. These times, the energy from the Doctor's body wasn't particularly violent. TV. The Tenth Planet. Planet of the Spiders. Logopolis. The Caves of Androzani. Time and the Rani, the time of the Doctor. However, from their eighth incarnation onward, the Doctor warned anyone in close proximity to a regeneration to keep away. This happened with members of the Sisterhood of Khan prior to the eighth Doctor transforming into his so-called War Doctor incarnation, TV, the Night of the Doctor, when the ninth Doctor received a brief surge of regenerative energy in the presence of Rose Tyler, TV, the parting of the ways, and when the eleventh Doctor realized that Mel's was regenerating. TV. Let's kill Hitler. When the Tenth Doctor regenerated during the 2009 Dalek invasion of Earth, Captain Jack Harkness similarly warned Rose Tyler to stay away from the Doctor when his regeneration started. TV. The Stolen Earth. Why the Doctor thought this was necessary became clear when the Tenth Doctor's regeneration into the Eleventh caused enough damage to the TARDIS to force a complete reconstruction into a different design. TV. The End of Time. When he began his thirteenth regeneration, it was the most destructive of all, emitting a shock wave resembling a thermonuclear blast. The town of Christmas was leveled, Dalek fighter pods were blown out of the sky, and a Dalek saucer was destroyed. Because the Doctor didn't have time to warn the citizens of Christmas of the danger from regenerating, his companion Clara Oswald ushered the people into the bell tower to take shelter. The Daleks that remained on the street were blown to pieces. TV. The time of the Doctor. The Twelfth Doctor was able to tell that his fourteenth regeneration would be explosive, prose, twice upon a time, and it eventually caused enough damage to the TARDIS for it to malfunction. The control room exploded, sending the Thirteenth Doctor plummeting from its doors. TV. Twice upon a time.